Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. Alright, got a God message for you today. As always, we've got messages from God throughout, but this one in particular is for those who need this. Reminder, God is saying, be not weary in well-doing. Okay, if you, when you're in your purpose, or if you're, if you're still on the healing path, okay, you're still on the healing journey. Do not, do not give up, okay? Be not weary in well-doing. Because after all, taking the initiative and the, uh, the, the time and the energy to put into actually healing and growing spiritually, okay? That's well-doing. That's what God needs you to do. So where is he telling us, okay, be not weary, all right? Be not weary, all right? First of all, he talks about it. Uh, do, 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 do. Yep, in Isaiah 40, 31. Okay, yes, Isaiah 40, 31 says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Okay, there you go. Because the, the more we stay with God, and the more we continue to heal, we're going to, yep, it's going to strengthen us. Yes, you become a stronger warrior. Okay? Then also in Galatians 6, 9. Okay? Galatians 6, 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Remember, we reap what we sow. Okay? So if we are sowing into healing, there you go. If we're sowing into healing, we're going to reap healing. Okay? Dad, all right, we're going to reap healing. Somebody drop that in the comments below. I'm reaping healing, baby. I'm reaping healing. Yes, put that in the comments below because that's what's happening. All right, so you continue to sow into it and you stay with God. And, and by him telling us to be not weary, it's him saying don't give up. Hey, okay? not saying we can't take a break from a project. You know, we're not ever, you know, don't take breaks from healing. No, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. That's ongoing for a lot of y'all. When you get to this point where you are 100% healed, then you'll know. Okay? Remember, I got a couple videos on that. You'll know when you're completely healed. You know, because like, nothing's going to get to you, okay? Nothing's going to get under your skin. Nothing that these little toddlers in adult bodies out here try to pull. Eh, you would be like, whatever, because you can see it for what it is. And you know what? We don't, and, and we no longer take things personal. Listen, you all, that's one of the other struggles. I get it, all right, to overcoming taking things personal. You can do it. Yes, because you, you learn that when they dish that stuff out, that's a reflection of them and their issues, not us, okay? That's a reflection of their character, not ours. Remember, we're in the spiritual awakening. We're in God's reality. We are in repentance, right? God needs us to become more Christ-like, and that's becoming more mature to where it's like, you know what? We're going to be able to sense when somebody's trying to mess with our head, yes, and we learn how to tell them no trespassing in the kingdom of God, yeah, that's right. Remember, God tells us exactly where the kingdom of God is within mm -hmm, Luke 17, 21. For those who need that reminder, mm, as always, you know, we encourage you to pick the, the word up and, and let the Holy Spirit interpret it for you. But like I say often, God knows where you're at. He knows what you're ready for. So he's going to reveal what he knows you're ready for. And that way you'll have time to process it, connect the dot, whatever it is that God will have you doing. And so that's why we can't be weary, okay? Don't throw in the towel, all right? Don't give up, all right? That's being weary and well-doing. Don't do that. But we can take a break, okay? So, for example, to help you all put it in perspective, all right? Now, do, did, I, did I experience a short burnout on video making a while back? Absolutely. But I overcame it quickly. You know why? God showed me a better strategy. That's right. Yep. That's how God works. God showed me a better strategy. So this is to help you all. If you may be struggling with that. That let's say you you are working on a project. And you are trying to get you know something put together. Something out there. And, and, and get it going. 
and in your purpose and things like that. And you, you, you just, you know, we have to, you know, remember, blessed are those who have not seen, okay? So we walk by faith, all right? You, you're putting your faith in it. You're, you're putting a lot of time, a lot of work, a lot of effort, and a lot of, and God sees that. Okay, God sees that. I'm here to tell you, you know, the people I'm working with, they know, I know also how much work goes into doing all of this stuff. Okay, a lot of time, <laughs> okay, a lot of time, a lot of effort, but you know, it, we're doing something that we love. Okay, this is what we love to do. It's part of our passion, it's part of our calling. All right, so we love what we do, but sometimes we can kind of start feeling a little bit burnt out. So what I did, here's for a tip for you all. What I did is I just turned to God and I said, okay, God, I have got to get this really solidified. I have got to get things in better position. Okay, so he showed me a better way. That's right. And so that was a better way by obtaining the necessary equipment that had additional storage. Okay, then they also taught me how to maintain the level of storage that I would need to keep going and to do it so that I'm not having to, oh, if you will, like, uh, uh, break my back, so to speak, okay, all right, that, that's, that's a metaphor, you all, not literal, okay, so I wouldn't have to do that, all right, so that way I wouldn't feel like throwing in the towel, okay, so I could take breaks, that's what God was telling me. It's like, you just need to take some break. Let me help you do figure this out. And so he did. You know, I sat down with God. I said, okay, so now what do we do? That's right. When we have video recording days, okay, and that's how we do it. On you know, certain days. Not, and it changes, okay. It's always subject change, okay, absolutely, depending on other things that God got us working on. But he, fig he helped me figure out a way and a strategy to plan, prepare, and produce so that I have something up here for you all every single day. And, you know, that it, it works. And so I'm not feeling, you know, uh, you know like throwing in the towel anymore. Mm-mm. No. That's why y'all got that to look forward to. So that's why you got to turn it over to God. Whatever it is, he, he knows how to help you because he knows you, right? He knows you better than you know yourself, right? So God will be able to help you figure out a way to get around that resistance, okay? Because that, that sense of wanting to throw in the towel, that's from the enemy. Because the enemy wants you to give up. Because the enemy can see that what God's put in you to do is a righteous thing, right? It's well-doing, okay? It's well-serving to benefit humanity, Right, whatever it is, your talents, your gifts, your skill set, things like that. All right, what he's got in you to do, right? It, it, it's gonna come naturally. Okay, so when it comes naturally, all right, then that's what it meant for you. Remember, God has something special for each and every one of us, unique. Okay, for each and every one of us, and that's the beauty of it. Okay, but we don't want you to be weary and well doing. No, 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 no. Let's drop that. Somebody drop that in the comment. In, yep, drop that in the comments below. Be not weary in well-doing. Okay, because in due season, we will reap. So as a quick recap, when you sow into your healing, you're going to reap additional more healing. God, gonna level you up. That's right. Help you thicken that skin and all of that. So that you're not going to be easily thwarted off of God's path. All right. And, oh, as a reminder for anybody who needs this one, yes, do not let the enemy force you away from a place that is helping you heal. Because remember, you're sowing into your healing. Okay? I don't care where it is or who it's with, but if it's helping you, only you know, you and God know that. Okay? Wherever it is that's helping you heal, all right, especially with the Word of God, it's helping you heal. Do not let the enemy. I don't care if the looky lose or the hater come at you with comments. Disable the comments if you got to. Ignore it. Block. Delete. Okay? Because the quicker you get at that, the quicker you can wash your hands of it and keep on going. Yeah, we learned. Don't even respond or react. That's what they want. The enemy. See, whenever the enemy does that. You know, send somebody across one of our our, our, our thing, okay, a piece of our fruit, 
okay, that we're bearing and try to get down there with a gaslight or a verbal attack, which pretty much is a gaslight when you stop and think about it. When the enemy does that, just trying to see if that's going to work. Remember, it used to work in the past to trick us into reactive abuse, but not anymore. That's right, not anymore. So that's all the enemy is trying to do is to see if it'll work again. So we let that sink in, but you you overcome that because you're sowing into your healing. Remember, the enemy doesn't want you to heal. God wants you to heal. So when you're sowing into your healing, then that's what you're going to reap. So don't let the enemy, you know, force you away from a place that is helping you do that. Beginning with the Word of God, of course. But that be it, consulting for heightened awareness, this channel or someone else's channel or someone else's, you know, uh, you know, consulting ser or services, whatever, Wh whoever, whatever place is helping you, you know who that is, okay? You and God know who that is who's helping you get past, get, you know, break that trauma bond, past the ruminating phase, getting closer to God, who's helping you. You and God know that. Don't let the enemy in in intervene. All right, don't let the enemy interfere. You've got the power and authority in you. Remember to tell Satan to get behind you. That's what we say. We say, get behind us, Satan. You're an offense to us. In other words, he is only trying to trick, you know, trick everybody into going after the things of this world and not things that are of God. So we got to remember that. Okay. So we don't, we don't, we learn to say no and tell him to take a hike because. In God's reality, we're not going to waste God's time. No, 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 no. Because, see, God's restoring a lot of things for us. So we're not to give it back to the enemy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, we don't give in. We don't give up. We don't get weary and well-doing. Okay, everyone? I just need to get on here and give you all that reminder for whoever needs it. All right, as always, if you have any questions, you know where to reach me. And if this messaging content resonates with you, let's show the video some love and give it a little thumbs up so the other chosen one can get the message as well that will help them further along in their healing and spiritual growth. For additional information, insight, and other good stuff, check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Until next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father and you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.